Hello dear students and uh, welcome to EduTap. So guys, we are back with another session for NABARD Grade A Phase 2 Descriptive English for the year 2021. And today we are going to discuss a very important question that uh, we have always seen uh, NABARD has asked students in Descriptive English section that is letter writing. So letter writing is very important form of communication. It is still very commonly used in all our uh, public offices in India. So I think you should know what uh, letter writing means and what is the proper sequence of writing a structure of writing a letter. So let's begin the session guys. First of all, let's understand the definition of a letter. So uh, letters are basically a form of verbal and written communication which contains information or message sent by one party to another to convey the message. So letters are a form of communication. Obviously, guys, uh, we, we have seen letters that are being uh, intra-department, inter-department and even individual to department or department to individual. So we'll see what type of letters they may throw at you. So basically, letter writing is considered a form of communication, right? A letter is written to provide or request certain important information. A formal letter is written for business or professional purposes with a specific objective in mind. So guys, letter writing is not story writing. I've seen students making, uh, you know, elaborate um, scenarios, elaborate situations. You know, a scenario of the letter, body of the letter, where they create a very fancy scenario which is not required. Formal letter is should be to the point and it should be very, very formal, uh, very, very concise uh, and it should be to the point. So that is the important part, guys. Right. So move, moving ahead, what are the do's and don'ts of letter writing? Now, guys, while writing a letter, you have to keep a few things in mind. Now, do not use slang, jargon, colloquialisms or abusive language. <clears throat> you have to use only formal language, guys. You cannot use informal language while writing a letter. Hey, what's up how is it going you know what how are you doing we cannot use such sentences in formal letters second do not use shortened or contracted form of verb for example uh, if you have to write they are you, you you shouldn't write this isn't shouldn't be written like this can't you should be written like this use the full form of verb for example for they are use this isn't should be put it like is not and cannot should be put this way so do not use contracted form of verbs Next, guys, do not use common vocabulary such as I've got or uh, I've got a lot of time or I've, I've got a lot of information, a lot, nice, the other thing. You know, make formal vocabulary choices. For example, I have found I have a great deal. Rather than writing a lot, write a great deal. Nice. For example, instead of using nice, use attractive or advantageous. The other uh, thing, rather than writing other thing, write the other issue, the other problem, the other notion, the other idea, the other topic. Right. So use formal language. Do not use informal language. That is the base. And guys, very important. Do not use personal pronouns. For example, I, you, we, unless specifically required. For example, uh, that is that. What does that mean? Do not write. Uh, we think that you should be able to complete. Be non-personal. Example, it should be possible for everyone to complete. So when you, you should not write sentences. We believe or we think that you should be able to complete. Write formal sentences. For example, it should be possible for everyone to complete this task within the allotted time. So you, you don't, you can't be personal. You have to use, uh, you know, informal. Uh, you, you you cannot use informal pronouns, personal pronouns. You have to use formal language while writing a formal letter, right, guys? Now moving ahead, what types of letter you, they may ask you to write in the paper? You know, first of all, very commonly used complaint letters where you'll have to complain regarding any services or any particular issue. Then there are inquiry letters uh, where you have to inquire about details or something, business development letters, uh, information or query letters, then claim letters, you claim your insurance, request letters, you request some information, official letters that are used in offices, circulars, endorsements, notifications, resolutions and press conferences or press communication. These are very commonly type of uh, common types of letters that may be asked to you in the paper right now let's understand uh, what should be the correct uh, format of a letter so guys i have compiled it into a 11 step format so make sure that you remember these 11 things while writing if you are writing a letter so number one you start with sender's address that is number one you should always start with your address whosoever is writing the letter second 
uh, is date. So second should be a date on which you are writing the letter. Then third is designation of the addressee. Uh, what's his post? Then address of the addressee. Addressee means to whom you are writing the letter. Right. After that, you should put a subject line. The purpose of the letter, writing this letter. Then salutation, dear sir or respected sir, respected ma'am. Then first paragraph, introduction of the letter. That is the seventh point. Then you write one big paragraph that is called the body part. Then uh, ninth paragraph that is uh, ninth point that is complimentary close or you know uh, the final request paragraph we request. It is a humble request to look into the uh, look into the matter as, uh, as soon as possible. Then uh, signature or name of the sender and then designation of the sender. So guys, uh, instead of signature or name of the sender, we usually write our salutation basically, respected sir or thanking you or respectfully yours. So these are the 11 steps that you must follow before you write a formal letter. So you have to remember these 11 things because structure plays a very important role in your letter writing guys. Got it? So <clears throat> this are these are the 11 steps to be followed. So let's look at a formal letter. So uh, for example, a situation was given, write a letter to the editor of a local daily complaining against the school bus drivers for rash driving and overcrowding of buses causing risk to the lives of innocent school children. So that is the topic, that is the question that has been given. So you start with your address, C4C Janakpuri, New Delhi. So that is my address, sender's address, then uh, date on which the letter has been written. It could be written February 19, 2018 or 19 February 2018 or 19 slash 02 slash 2018. All the formats are correct. Then receiver's address, first his uh, designation, the editor. Then address, the Tribune, Mahatma Gandhi Mag, New Delhi. Then subject line, regarding reckless driving of school bus drivers. That is the one short subject line where I have written my purpose, my intent of writing the letter. Then dear sir or dear ma'am, that is opening salutation. Then you start with the opening paragraph, introduction. Through the columns of your esteemed newspaper. Now, see, your hair is necessary. Now, your hair does not mean to the editor, but to the newspaper. So, I told you, do not use personal pronouns unless required. So, through the columns of your esteemed newspaper, I wish to draw the attention of the concerned authorities towards the grave issue of rash driving being done by school bus drivers that pose a threat to the lives of innocent school children and trespassers. Very formal language, very to the point. Then body paragraph, driving in a zigzag manner on packed roads, crossing speed limits, not following traffic lights has become very common. Despite such strict regulations regarding speed, none of these drivers seem to follow them. This shows that there is lack of implementation. This is a menace to the other road users as the bus drivers that drive at high speed might crush down who, uh, whoever comes in their way. Now that was the, uh, the point that he, wants, he wanted to put through. Then, by addressing this issue, it is hoped that public awareness towards the dangerous, uh, towards the dangers of, not dangerous of, uh, dangers of reckless driving, can be raised. It is also the right time for the traffic authorities to take stronger measures against the reckless drivers, which includes levying uh, heavy fines and forfeiting their licenses if they are found guilty of breaching the traffic rules. Then that was the closing paragraph. Then your salutation, your sincerely, then name, Deepthi or Deepak, and then your mobile number or email ID if you wish to provide. So we have covered all the 11 parts, guys. Number one, sender's address. Number two, date. Number three, uh, designation. Number four, receiver's address. Number five, uh, subject line. Number six, uh, salutation. Number seven, uh, introduction paragraph. Number eight, body. Number nine, uh, conclusion paragraph, final uh, salutation. That is number 10 and finally your details, your name and your email address or mobile number. That is step number 11. So this is what you have to remember how you frame your formal letter guys. See, so that is it for this session guys. I hope you have understood what formal letters basically uh, ensue and what they entitle and how they have to be written and what are the do's and what are the don'ts and what's the structure of a formal letter. So guys, if you wish to contact us for any anything for any other question or query please feel free to contact us on this number 8146207241 or you can drop us an email at hello at the rate at utap.co.in thank you so much for joining in guys uh, i wish you all the very best for your preparation and happy learning to all of you guys